The ABBA Skylift Stand versus the Bursic Stand versus the Harbor Freight Lift Table versus your traditional stands. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Check it out. That CBR sitting up there like it's on a perch looking pretty and new. Look at that chain and sprocket, you can eat off of it. Stay tuned for my first ride review on my newly modded CBR 1000 Double R, where I added a 520 chain, dropped a tooth on the front sprocket, added the Bazaz timing retard that takes a restriction off the bike and it brings the peak power 1500 lower in RPMs and adds six horsepower. I'll let you know if it feels any faster than stock. So stay tuned for that review video also, I'm going to do a review video on this stand-up motorcycle trailer, which, by the way, I'll include a link to get it, along with everything else that I mentioned in this video in the description and comment section of this video. But this video, I wanted to compare the different stands. You know, in my Bursic stand review video, which I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video if you haven't seen that video, but a lot of you commented and said, Cycle Cruiser, you should have got the ABBA Skylift stand. It lifts the bike up a lot higher and you can tilt it rearward and forward. It looks like a better stand. You should have got that one, man. Well, you know, I did my research on that particular stand. It does look like an amazing stand, but there's some things you should know about that stand. First off, it's $100 more than this stand. And also it requires more setup uh, preparation than before you can actually use it. Uh, this particular stand, Bursic stand, all you need to do is you need to take out this bolt, uh, put it in this sleeve, tighten it up, and then you just take a wrench and set this pin here, and then you don't never have to do anything else to it again. You just put the stand, you know, put those pins in the slots, and push down the lever and it lifts the bike up. That's it. As where is the ABBA lift stand, uh, you have to, which doesn't require any modification to the bike, but you stick it in the... Uh, the frame hole and then on the other side you have to put this other piece on the other side and then you have to put a strap on or something then it's got a, a pneumatic you know foot pedal we have to press on it a bunch of times to get it high up which is take forever which is similar to my Harbor Freight lift table uh, pump lift there as where this one like I said it literally once you set it up it takes literally just a few seconds and you press that down and you're good you're good to go you don't have to take all that time to set it up uh, but the main advantage to the sky lift is that you can stand and work on the bike which is amazing however you know you're gonna have to put something underneath the bike to catch the fluids you know when you're doing an oil change or whatever and I'll tell you, you know, that's one reason why I hated working on a motorcycle with regular stands here you know in the garage because no matter how much I try to put covering on the floor or whatnot I've always got oil or fluids on the on the floor and it's just really irritating and that's why I tell you why this is so much better having this Harbor Freight lift table which is only two hundred ninety nine dollars with a coupon the only drawback with this one is it takes up more space obviously so if you don't have the space you you can't get this but also going to get it at the store and having to you know bring it back which it's extremely heavy and you're gonna have to have several friends to help you you know, carry it out of the, the truck or whatnot. But once you set it up, man, this thing is, this is the best thing ever to work, you know, work on your bike with. Because any fluids that spill, it goes on here, very easy to clean up. You don't have to get it on the floor and you can sit on this stool, work on the bike comfortably. I love it, man. But, you know, if you don't have the room for that, like I said, uh, the sky lift is awesome and also this Bursic stand. But like I said, this is so much easier and you can do the same maintenance with this Bursic stand as you can with the Skylift. And you can tilt this, uh, your bike forward and rearward with this uh, Bursic stand. It just, it has a screw right here that you adjust where you can tilt it either way. Um, but this one, the setup is, is, like I said, you just roll it in, you put it in the, the slots and you press the lever down to lift the bike up, you're done. You don't have to put the piece on the other side, the straps, uh, hit the, the foot pump about a, thousand, a bunch of times to get it up. 
And uh, so I don't know, it's, it's whatever your preference is, but that's the, the drawback I saw with the ABBA stand. When I want to hear your feedback, let me know if you own the ABBA Skylift. I'd love to hear your review on it. But I can tell you, you know, the link that I provide where to get the Bursic stand, which by the way, this stand is made 100% in Germany. It's 100% solid. A lot of you commented on my review video that you said you had for a couple of years and you loved it. But if you go to the link to where to get this, uh, look at those reviews, guys. It's got almost everybody on there put five-star reviews. It's solid. Uh, the company was founded by a motorcycle racer. And a lot of research and development went into this. It's a solid product, guys. It's not sketchy. As you can see here, this thing is solid, man. And uh, I just love being able to move this around. You can move the bike around 360 degrees. And this is a 545-pound bike, guys. You can move it around like nothing, like it's on a dolly. I love that, man. Uh, but for those of you that don't have the money to pay for this, which, by the way, you have to buy an adapter plate separate from the stand, and it's the adapter plate is specific for your bike. Like I said, all together, it's like, I think it's about 600 and it's like it's $100 less than the Skylift, like I said. But for those of you that just don't have the money for that, you know, the traditional stands are, are great. They just take up more space. You can't maneuver the bike or anything, but I can recommend these regular stands here that I've had for over three years, very inexpensive. And this uh, front stand, you know, allows you to do fork service, remove the wheel, uh, wheel. and I can recommend it 100%. And uh, it's, it works fantastic with this table. I have it strapped up here so it doesn't, can't be pushed off. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend the Harbor Freight lift table. It's been fantastic so far. Um, I love the Bursic stand, like I said, absolutely amazing. Uh, also, for those of you that have adventure bikes or you know uh, dual sports, like I have the WR250R, the DRC uh, uh, foot lift stand there is absolutely amazing. Very inexpensive. Uh, the only drawback with that is you can't do all change with that. That's why I have the traditional dirt bike stand here with the hole in it. And uh, so, like I said, I'll include links to all the stands in the description and comment section of the video, but. Bottom line is you definitely want your motorcycle on a stand and lift it up if you're not going to ride it for a period of time because it can put flat spots on your tires and you don't want that. So definitely get a stand of some sort. Like I said, if you're going the cheap route, you want some good ones, I can recommend these right here. But share your experience uh, with the ABBA Skylift. I'd love to hear your, your feedback on that. Uh, like I said, a lot of you guys left a comment about the Bursic uh, stand you know in that video and a lot of you guys said it's been awesome you own it for a couple of years it's a solid stand man it is it's, it's really awesome and I can highly recommend it but anyways guys um, for those of you that want to get you know these stands and also my gear my helmet camel pants boots gloves no drag back everything cameras I include links in the description and comment section of this video Again, or go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, click on the menu tab, my gear, and those are current links to all of my stuff. And also, if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my over 1,000 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through. And one of those playlists is my reviews. Uh, hit thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps me get motivated when you hit thumbs up and it uh, helps my channel. Share this video with your friends. I want to hear your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Also, go check out my Bug Out Moto channel. It showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere. And has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists. One for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.